is up guys welcome back to blockcraft on awesome kids tv we are back and as you can see i have updated the tower of achievements as you can plainly see it now has golden and silver achievements with the iron and gold blocks and in today's video, we are going to be making, you guessed it, another even crazier build. That's right, we're going to make the ultimate dungeon theme build. I have also made a TV portal thing that transports you into a taller cartoon. I have forgotten to put the towers on that ancient Egyptian temple, uh, but who cares? <laughs> and I've made this Zephyrites uh, cemetery and what would it look like with a King Haven's dead body. That would be very cool for a Halloween episode. Anyway, in today's uh video we are going to be making the ultimate dungeon like i said now for oh sorry <laughs> for anyway for the ultimate dungeon we are going to be using of course mossy and cracked stone bricks to make it look like a dungeon and then iron bars of course and then we'll have some mobs squirming around in there. Uh, we'll have like a, a, a zombie or something. We should have a giant spider. Oh yes, we should have a giant spider. Oh my gosh, I, oh my gosh, oh my golly gosh, I never would have thought that. <laughs> no, seriously, I never would have thought that. Anyway. Let us get building the ginormous spider in the dungeon that it uh, grew out of. We're going to start with the main uh, floor of the dungeon. And for that, we're going to use, of course, an iron hoe. And we're going, and we are, of course, hoeing in spots where the blocks are going to go, the cracked stone brick blocks are gonna go those dirt those dirty indicators are indicators of where the blocks are actually gonna go now we're getting out our mossy stone bricks uh about this big will do you don't have to make it that big you can make it as big or as small as you want i don't care <laughs> this is a cat head reflourished uh, TLB, uh, scenario, type of scenario. Uh, basically, uh, one of the spiders in the dungeon of mo of mobs has basically turned it to a giant mutant spider and has broken out of its, uh, mob cell mob jail cell and it has to be tracked down by us the akt crew so yeah that's pretty simple not as simple as all the other tasks we have oh dang it i forgot to feed the birds oh well after this uh little gameplay i'll feed the birds because i forgot to feed them Oh, dang it. I knew I should have fed the birds before doing this. Alright, there you go. We're looking good. This wall's looking pretty good. We'll get random cracked stone blocks in here. Once we get the surrounding wall of the dungeon uh cell done we will um of course 
curse at the giant mutant spider that one of the witches there had to mutate, of course. There we go. We're just going to go on ahead and... There we go. Finish the per, uh, mob prison. There we go. Now it is time for the spider itself. Yes, all right. For the spider itself, I decided to have the legs, like, come out of the uh, wall. Like, come out the sides of the walls. <laughs> And basically, um, uh, look kind of terrifying, but not too terrifying, uh, and enjoyable enough for kids to, of course, enjoy. Because who doesn't love a enjoyable little thing? I certainly do. Anyway, we're now doing the ex exact same uh, on uh, this side. Let's uh, cut that down. There we go. Now we're doing the exact same on the other side. Just like, just like what we did with the first four holes on the first side. We're doing the same on the second. There we go. Now that we got half of the body formed, time it's time to get the rest of it formed. We're now making the rest of the legs. And for the legs, like like I was saying, we're using black wool. There we go. Boom. Boom. There you go. All four legs on this side have been taken care of. We will now move on to the legs on the other side. And after that, we'll form the body and the head. You can't have a creature like this without the head. That will be freaking disappointing would it oh yeah it would be all right we're now forming the body of the spider and the abdomen and stuff you can't have a spider without a abdomen either that's why you need to have the abdomen that's the body part uh that's the spider's butt basically it's the spider's booty basically uh that's the non-scientific uh, word uh, for the spider's abdomen. <laughs> anyway, for the webbing, I am using white wool so that not only does it look realistic, but also feels realistic. There we go. Now we're forming the spider's head. And for the spider's head, I am making it like this. There you go. And, of course, we're adding the four red eyeballs. Because, you know, you can't have a spider without the eyeballs. There you go. Two eyeballs on the bottom, two eyeballs on the top. There you go. Now we are looking pretty cool. Now we're looking good. There we go. Now we'll form the rest of the uh, cell that uh, has surrounded him. Uh, we'll put the arm bars uh, in place. There we go. The bars have uh, squeezed in with him. Half of them, at least. Half of them have busted open, like busted up, and got put all over the spider, all over the abdomen, on the head, a whole pillar of iron. 
two pillars of iron are all over him there we go now we put some cracked stone there and some mossy stone to make it look like the whole thing has bursted open and there you go that is how you make a ginormous mutant spider thank you for watching and we'll see you next time talk to you then and don't forget to stay tuned for future pieces of content.